Okay, we're going to show you how to use Cubase Lite Edition 4 recording software. So once Cubase has loaded, click the File button, New Project, and select 4 Stereo 8 Mono Track Audio Recorder and click OK. Select a file to save your work in and immediately all the tracks will come up with the uh, mixer. You can close the mixer for now and I'll show you how to open that later. Now in order to record you're going to collect you're going to select the stereo uh, channel number one. I've got two microphones in the stereo input so both channels will be recorded while I'm talking to you and click the record button. Um, we're going to just play a little bit of guitar and the voice. I hear the drizzle of the rain. A bit out of tune but good enough for a test and then s rewind the recording button and click the second channel. Click the record button. Um, we're going to just play a little bit of guitar and the voice. I of the rain Like a memory So that's the second track recorded. Now we're going to go to the third track and um, you don't forget to rewind and then record your third track. Um, we're going to just play a little bit of guitar and voice. Like a so that's all of the uh, playback, uh, sorry, recordings done. We've got three tracks done there. Now at the top you'll see this blue line. Um, this is the area that we're going to, when we uh, export our mixed, our three mixed tracks, uh, that's the bit that will be exported. So make sure that's selected to the end of the longest track you've got there. Um, I'm, I'm only going to do it up to the first eight seconds. Um, so you see at the top it's numbered one to eight, those are in seconds. Now I'm going to just uh, play back what I recorded by clicking uh, to switch on the mixer you click this button here and rewind then play I can adjust I can adjust the volume controls of the three tracks that's the first track this is the second track this is the, this is the third track so those are the three tracks I just mixed and uh, this mix is a bit big, I'm going to make it smaller. This is the master volume track. So as I replay them back, I can adjust the master volume loud or not. Adjust the master volume till it's about at zero decibels, which is this line over here. Make sure nothing is, is uh, peaking or overloading. Uh, your level should go about up to the top of the line here. Um, not not much higher than this as you can see there and then we're ready to export our mixed results click file export audio mix down and a window will pop up you're going to select uh, WAV file give the file a name test one and WAV file and then click here stereo output um, you want a sampling rate for CD quality 44.1 kilohertz and a depth a bit depth of 16 bit you can have 24 bit if you want most people can't really tell the difference but if you think you want higher quality select 24 bit and 96 kilohertz uh, for higher quality click export and you will see um, it is exporting a WAV file and once that's done you can close Cubase and then open your WAV file and play it back and uh, that's the end of your recording.